Uh, welcome again, uh, dearest lovers of the Xwahili language. Uh, now we proceed with uh, the 13th lesson, part 3. Uh, we are going now to finish up with present continuous tense. Eh? Uh, wakati uliopo. Mm? Yes. If you have been with me from the first and the second lesson of the 13th lesson, I mean the first and the second part of, of the 13th lesson, now we finish up with the third part of the 13th lesson, which is wakati uliopo or present continuous tense. Now we move uh, to the ninth uh, uh, sentence. Wao wanakula matunda. They are eating fruits. As I said, the uh, all verbs uh, drop the ku infinitive except the verbs kuja and the kula. And here now we see how they are applied. Eh? Uh, wao wanakula matunda. They are eating fruits. But also may just say wanakula matunda. It also means they are eating fruits. As I said, wa and the wao there refers to the third person plural. So you may remove uh, wao and remain with wanakula. Mm -hmm. Let us see now the tenth, uh, the tenth uh, sentence. Wanakuja wanjan. They are coming to the pitch or to the stadium. Eh? So you may say, wow, wanakuja wanjan. Or you may just say, wanakuja wanjan. So you, you remove wow. Eh? As I said, it also means the same. Mm -hmm. Now let us see there the question, swali. Question, swali. Watoto wanafanya nini? What are the children doing? The meaning is, what are the children doing? Wanafagia wanja. They are sweeping the ground. They are sweeping the ground. Wanafagia wanja. Wanafagia wanja. Wanafagia wanja. Yeah, you see. So, now, now let, us, let us repeat. Wow, wanakula matunda. Or you may say, Eh, wanakula matunda. Yes. They are eating fruits. Or you may say, wanakuja uanjani. Or wow, wanakuja uanjani. It also means the same. They are coming to the pitch or to the stadium. Eh, let us see now the question. Just for repetition. Watoto wanafanya nini? Watoto wanafanya nini? Yes. Yeah, the answer is now, wanafagia uanja. They are uh, sweeping the ground wanafagia uanja wanafagia uanja yes let's move guys therefore hivyo tuna mimi is represented by the morphem ni in the verb wewe is represented by the morphem u in the verb ye ye which means he or she is represented by the morphem a in the verb sisi is represented by the verb to. Ni or nyinyi is represented by the, the, the morphem m in the verb. And wao is represented by uh, the morphem uh, wa. As I said, the, the, the personal pronouns I have taught, I think you, you know them very well. Thank you so much. Let us now meet uh, on the, the, the next lesson. Thank you.